Today we're going to go over pagination with Django. Fortunately, it has some great built-in pagination bits. So first, let's actually look at our web page as it is now. As you can see, there's a lot of posts, but I have more than what is being shown on here. So we definitely want to implement some sort of pagination. And to do that, it's actually fairly simple. All we're going to do is edit our view and edit a template. The very first thing that we need to do is import our paginator. Next thing we need to do is give, go ahead and get rid of our limitation of only 10 posts and go ahead and rename this. What we're going to do with posts list is use that to build with our paginator that we brought in above. So we need to create a new instance of our paginator. We want to go ahead and get five posts. First thing that we want to do is we want to establish which page that we're on. So we're going to get the page query string. If it can't get the page query string, we'll just set it to one. So that way it grabs the very first page. Next thing we need to do is actually get our posts from our pagination. If the page is empty, or it's an invalid page, and then we're just going to grab the last page in our pagination. And there we go, that's it for our view. A quick recap, we create our new paginator, and we want to build our pagination based on our posts and we want to have five per page. Next we get our page query string and we set that to page. Then we come down here and we get the actual page worth of objects and assign it to posts. Then we send our posts to our home index template. Our next task is to simply edit our template. So here's our template. The first thing that we need to do is modify our for loop so that it gets our objects because if you know if you remember we passed a page object instead of the actual objects as the high level. So we should do object list here and it'll actually filter through all of our actual posts and display those normally. So the next thing we do is come down here and we actually, this is where we'll do our actual numbering of each of our pages. First thing that we want to do is check if there is a previous page. If there is, then we want to go ahead and give the option to go to the previous page. And let's go ahead and put this inside of a list element. Now we actually want to output each of our page numbers for each page we have available. This is going to go through 
each of our pages in our page range so that we can actually output the actual page number that we're on and all of the other available pages. What the posts.number equals PG does is it determines whether the current page is the active page or not. If it is, we're going to go ahead and include an active class in our list element. I'm going to go ahead and type out all the code and you're just going to see it all of a sudden magically appear. And then finally, we want to see if there's any coming up pages or not. So we'll just add the same thing we did above except for has next. And I'll go ahead and make that just magically appear. And there we go, we have all of our code for our pages. This is going to present a list of all of our pages, one through however many we have. And we can do styling from there with CSS to make it all look better. But this will actually give you an idea of it actually working. So let's go ahead and test it out. Go ahead and refresh our page and let's scroll to the bottom and there we go we have five pages no we don't have the previous because we're on the first page click on next and we have page two click on page three and we're on page three click on previous and we're back on page two and note the page query string up here And there we go for pagination using the built-in Django Paginator. I hope you found this helpful as it makes life a whole lot simpler when doing pagination. If you've never done pagination before, I recommend going ahead and giving it a shot on your own in a new branch uh, so that you can learn it as a good programming exercise. And then come back and use the actual Django Paginator. I want to thank you for watching this episode of the Go Django screencast. Please visit our website and subscribe to our RSS feed to stay up to date. And feel free to visit our Facebook page and like us and get involved in the conversation over there. Just want to thank you again and have a great day.